Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully, let's see if the camera is working. I can't defeat the object if it doesn't, I guess. Okay, right. <clears throat> no time for talking. No time at all for anything. So, this is called Sooner or Later. It's a song I wrote yesterday. <clears throat> Now what the date is today, sometime in July 2024, and uh, you know, I couldn't record it yesterday, and it was going to be a fast punk rock song, uh, I just didn't want to leave one unfinished in the tank, I'm going to try it again, it's called Sooner, it's called Sooner or Later, and I will do the best I can, which is not very good these days, but... If I'm only, you know. Dylan Emley, hi, I've got some new photographs that I've had. Uh, I don't know if you can see them behind me of some of our happy times together. Um, uh, up there, and I've moved some of them around. And I'm going to post them to you, but I don't know if you'll give them a look. Hopefully you'll find them on the internet somewhere down the line. And this is called Sooner or Later, and I cannot see a single word that is written there. What the hell? I'm doing the key G. One, two, three, four. I swear this was in tune when I started. It's gonna have to be what it is, folks. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna fall over any second. <laughs> you try singing a song when you're in the very last days of motor neuron disease. <laughs> but I am sorry. And anyways, one, two, three, four.
there for you in the end. Your deeds might come to haunt you. Your victims might return. Sooner or later, I kind of want to do another one, but there's so much to do in so little time. <sighs> Hope that came out okay. I'd like to do one with a harmonica on. Let's see. If I never get to do this again, uh, thank you all. Over these last few years. That sounds very dramatic, but you know, I'm fairly certain you can see that there's not much left of me. I have no legs left, so I can't. It's not really but anyway, I do. And, uh, I'm sure you'll hear this a lot in your life, but take it from me. You throw time away like you. No idea, you don't realize it. Uh, actually, I'll, if you'll forgive me, I'll just go off tangents just a little bit here. I mean, I've had the advantage, ho, 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 of knowing that I have uh, incurable, progressive, the NHS doesn't like to say, the NHS doesn't like to say terminal, they like to say progressive. Illness for four years, so I've tried to 
put everything I can in that time doing two things at the same time so I'm if I'm uploading a video to YouTube then I'm trying to sell something on eBay you know I don't wait till one thing's finished how can I do two things at the same time you know, you know? And, uh, no one someone once told me that no one ever lay on their deathbed and wish they'd spend more time at the office well, I mean, this was kind of my office, and I certainly wish I'd done that. In fact, uh, it is very true because that was one of the seismic shocks that caused the um, caused the neurological disorder that started the autoimmune disease. It's wasted my body away to nothing. And you just kind of think to yourself, you know, the number of times I've run up and down stairs for bosses at places, you know, in between when gigs were low and you'd have to take a job and stuff and think of it. And I'd be, yeah, yeah, I'll do this for you and they'd be driving home. They all just drive home in their posh cars laughing at you. I mean, off the record, I'd normally found a flaw in any system wherever I worked to, you know. Always make them think you got them beat. That's, that's one thing. I met my last wife actually at a travel lodge hotel. I won't mention its name. I've got an audio recording somewhere actually of the cleaning staff saying how they used to clean the um, clean the cups with um, tile brush, all things. I should have used that when when I got it. They were bullying my poor ex-wife, sounding terribly. Dylan Emily, please turn off yeah. Anyway. And you'd have to get, you know, all the things made up ready for the rooms and the next morning and everything. And all the other night staff used to go in, and, you know, and they'd sit down and take it easy and and uh, and everything. And plan it out through and go. And what I used to do was I'd go in at 11 o'clock at night and I'd get, I'd just go like a lunatic, get everything done. See who was coming in and then i just find an empty room, i just go up and go to sleep, you know, or do sleep, you know. If all the rooms were full, I used to go into the laundry room, or something, or something like that. and I always used to, uh, night shift staff at hotels was everywhere, and I used to keep the cleaning cart next to me, well, you had a handheld one as well, you know, so, and if anyone did buzz the door to come in, if they'd been late or anything, I used to go out, you know, and I'd be just, <laughs> They, oh, was, that poor, that poor young man there, he rushed off his feet there, you know, and they get him into the room and shh, put him behind me. <laughs> anyway, don't waste a second of your time, and that includes never do a millisecond extra at the office or wherever you work, okay? You'll regret it somewhere down the line. I'm going to try another one. <sighs> My crutches are just out of the way there, but I keep falling over them. Is that irony? It's broken me more than anything. My favourite picture of you there, Dylan. Second favourite picture of you there. Oh, there's a nice one as well.